It's a warm welcome back to the show to Lee from the Florence Street Band. Hello there. How, How are you doing? doing? You're right. Very well, thank you, my friend. How are you? Good. Yeah. Greetings of the season to you. And for those that aren't following the plot, Lee and I speak once a year at this time of year. Hence yeah. our favourite time of year. <laughs> hence the song. Absolutely. And just reminds. I mean, I, I feel like I've been with this song a decade, but it's not. It's not been around that long, has it? No, it's about, I think it's the third Christmas now, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've been right there from the start, which is great. You're, you're kind of the godfather of the project. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I can't remember how I first met the song. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, it probably just, mm. it, I, I have no idea. I'm, I mean, it's not like me to actually put on a CD that anybody would send me. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Maybe, maybe you saw it on YouTube or something, maybe, the video. I, Maybe, yeah, mm. probably. Uh, but this is also the theme to ITV's Text Santa. When's that on? Um, that's on this Friday, I believe. Okay. And, and they're running up to it on all their programmes over the past few weeks, really. So, yeah, it's, it's, I made, like, theme tunes and background music out of, out of In fact, I gave them 25 different pieces of music for the programme, you know. So, um, and it, a lot of it's based around this song, which is great, you know. Great exposure for the song and good for them. So if you hear a song in the background, this is the way to approach it, and you think, oh, that's quite catchy, I don't really know what that is, you are looking for the Florence Street Band <laughs> and my favourite time of year. And the video, of course, we always say is worth checking out as well. Oldie, worldy, really, you know, the true spirit of, of Christmas. And, you know, just... Um, they say a feature film in, in three and a half minutes, but it is that, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's <clears throat> definitely to that standard, you know. I mean, the people that worked on it, some of the cinematographers that came from America, I mean, really, really talented people. Every detail was covered, you know, and it's really beautiful, yeah. I'm really, really excited, really chuffed about it. Um, when uh, Lee and I started talking uh, many moons ago, I always used to say, one year the X Factor will crash and burn and there will be no you know, obvious push for anything for Christmas number one. And I said it might take a decade. Well, we're not there yet, but I sense an element of crashing and, and burning. So, you know, if we can if we can welly this up this Christmas and still another three or four, um, yeah. you know, we, we could be in there. But, you, you know, you've got to move on with your life as well. And I know if, you, if anybody's been on, you know, the website, the Facebook or the Twitter, um... Then Lee's been working on a, another thing just in the last week or so. So tell everybody about that. Yeah, well, since I wrote my favourite time of year, I've written a musical based on Florence Street, and it's about ten songs long, and it's primarily sort of aimed at, at, at Christmas for children, really. And uh, one of those songs is called Winter Wonder, and it's all about an event that the Florence Street Band put on at the end of the story when they get their music back and celebrate Christmas, basically. So I decided, this, you know, it's really important to sort of carry on and not stand still with this project because, you know, I could just, I, like you say, I could, stand, I could just have one song for a decade, you know. So I wanted, I wanted to push forward with it. So we've recorded some more songs and we made a video for Winter Wonder about 10 days ago and it's now live on YouTube. And, um, and I'm really excited about that as well because it's a very, very different vibe to my favourite time of year, like purposely, but... Yeah, really beautiful as well. So. But, but you say that though, but I'm sure that you know anybody that creates stuff uh, always has like, that comparative thing in yeah. their head. So every time you start at the piano or with the words or mm -hmm. choreographing the set, you've got that benchmark of the song, my favourite time of yeah. year, and that um, yeah. it's, it's a bit of a, a, a grip around the neck in a, in a way, I suppose. Yeah, it's definitely a hard one to, to match because obviously both aspects. You know, the song is. In terms of you know, when you when you write songs and, and you know I've written hundreds of songs, it's one of those that just it's a magical thing that feels like it was meant to be. You know, so much about it is right. So the idea of trying to write stuff that could outdo it, <clears throat> I, I really couldn't go down that line at all. You know, I had to just think about doing stuff that's different, really. So you know, Winter Wonder is an upbeat sort of Celtic style song in six eight time, and it's more of a party song really. And uh, you know, I, I wanted to make sure the production standards and the melodies are really strong, and all the aspects in the video. That was probably the most challenging part because obviously. You know, making beautiful videos costs money, and when you haven't got the backing, like we haven't, it's really difficult to get that kind of level of production. And you know, I think we achieved it, and it was so so difficult to get there. But I think we just about got there with the quality of the of the look of the video, which I'm I'm really pleased about. You know, so. Yeah, no record company backing. We, we we always say, and you know, you bear that in mind if you watch this stuff. I mean, it really, it just is. It's so much detail and so much quality, and you know. Um, I don't recall in my lifetime many pop videos that make a lasting I impact on you, but the, the f my favourite time of year one, you know, yeah. cer certainly does. And when you really hit the, really hit the piano. I mean, can you remember the first time like you penned 
those notes is something you've got to ask everybody that's written like a classic and it is a classic regardless of whether it goes to number one or number 501 is yeah. it it is can you remember writing those notes and thinking wow i think i've i think i'm onto something here yeah i do remember yeah i mean i, I was sitting at the piano tinkling away and as i sort of it was that main melody in the chorus da, 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 da. <laughs> it was that stuff on the piano and I knew, I mean, that's all I had at the time, and I, I knew I had to flesh out the entire song. But because of that, and I started singing over the top and got to that, because it's Christmas time bit, and opened out all the harmonies and stuff, I thought, wow, this, this, could, this could be really, it sounds kind of quite like a Christmas cow, I suppose, but, but not but original, you know. So yeah. I got excited and, and, you know, basically just spent a few, well, actually, I think I finished the song in a few, like most of the song in a few days, because it was just, it all just, fell into place you know when i got to the middle eight section i started going um christmas eve still believe and i was uh, so excited and again it all <laughs> led into the big string section and trumpets and it just like it fell into place and I, I always think that if something's meant to be it's almost a gift and it's given to you almost and all you, what you've got to do is, is kind of channel it in a way so yeah. I just, you know I, I feel like it was given in a way and, and I, my job was to kind of build it and make it real and record it and make the vision that i had at the piano turn into a reality of all the, the, the choir and the string sections and stuff and you know that's the challenging stuff because you know it's a people management job as well as a, <laughs> a creative job you know it, it is strange that i mean i you know i write books and i write quite fast when i'm writing and yeah. uh, you know i sometimes write them in collaboration with uh with a guy who's the ideas man and and yeah. you know i'll just ring him up and go i've just done another chapter and he'll go well, where did that come from? And I'll go, I don't know. The words were like a couple of lines ahead of me. Do you, do you yeah, know what I mean? It just, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very strange. Yeah. Well, exactly. you, you have written a classic. Um, you know, it's, I, I have to say this uh, on the air, of course, that um, it's a Christmas song, my favourite time of year, but yeah. in summer it, it moves me and there can't be any other Christmas song that, that does that. And I, I put it on in the radio studio a couple of times a, a year, you know, at various points when you need a lift or you need a thought so yeah. it shouldn't be seen in isolation it should be seen um Anytime, yeah, yeah as, a, as a wonderful composition with a few christmasy bits in it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing next year anyway lee oh busy year yeah i'm going to be recording the rest of the songs for the musical and trying to get back in so i'm going to be approaching Cameron mackintosh and <laughs> and all the big film companies yeah i'm going to go for it next year so um, i've got to make this happen i've got to make flying street something that we can all enjoy every christmas because Nobody else out there is, 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 is probably, you know, doing anything for Christmas magic, so I'm an ambassador now. <laughs> well, you know, spot on, and uh, there's no such thing as an overnight success story, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So, well, listen, you must keep in touch, of course. You Absolutely. wonder you will. Yeah. Definitely. And, um, you know, proud to, as ever to be part of the song and have yeah. heard it from the beginning, and uh, greetings yeah. of the season to you. Yeah, thanks, Tony. You're a true, true supporter. Okay. Speak soon. All right. Cheers, mate. Bye bye.